This video covers notification setup for Greenlight data users. Once you have successfully set up your machines as assets at customer locations and set up a selection of users, you can then set up notifications. This feature allows you to define certain problems which will automatically cause the system to send messages to the email addresses and or a cell phone number that you specify. First you will set up a system-wide company notification parameters by selecting and defining the conditions that will trigger messages to the email addresses and or cell phone numbers that you will specify. Then you will set up personal notifications for individual recipients. Any given individual can be set up to receive notifications for certain defined conditions at certain specified machines, customers, or locations. For example, you can set up different mechanics and or drivers to each be notified of problems only on the routes for which each is responsible. Persons need not be defined as users in order to receive notifications. Any valid email address or cell phone number can be set up to receive notifications. Note that notifications should not be confused with alerts. Alerts are automatically displayed by the system in response to issues detected at machines out in the field. Notifications are sent to specified recipients in response to conditions that you define on the company notification screen, such as door openings, DEX alerts, temperature problems with temperature, price changes, etc. You can use the notification feature to inform anyone with an email address or cell phone number about specified problems. Under the Setup tab, select the Notifications tab. You will then see the notification settings. We will first complete the company settings before moving to personal settings. The settings entered here define situations which will prompt the system to create a notification to be sent to the individual's email address or cell phone number entered in the personal settings section. Check the door open box to issue a message whenever a vending machine is open outside normal business hours. In other words, when there's a possibility that a theft has occurred. You must specify the hours during which an open door will trigger the notification using military time. For example, to request a notification whenever a machine's door is open after 9 p.m. and before 4 a.m., enter between 2100 hours and 400 hours. The power outage field, shown here, though currently checked, is not used on the Verizon-based green light telemetry device and can be skipped. Check the DEX alerts box to issue a notification when a machine's DEX data includes an error message. The conditions reported via DEX alerts vary from one machine manufacturer to another. Check the temperature alerts box to issue a message when a machine's internal temperature falls outside a defined range. Note that for this alert to function, a machine must be equipped with the optional connection of the temp machine's temperature sensor to the temp port on the green light device for this alert to function. The final three fields allow you to request notifications whenever a machine's price settings change drastically enough to fall outside of the acceptable range. Note that the parameters you define will apply to all items in the machines. If you'd like a notification sent to you if an item is sold below the lowest price in the machine, check this box and enter the lowest price at which you would sell any item. Enter this price in cents without the decimal point. For example, 50 cents is entered as 50. If you'd like a notification sent to you if an item is sold above the highest price in the machine, check this box and enter the highest price at which an item will be sold. Enter this price in cents without a decimal point. For example, $2.50 is entered as 250. And finally, if you'd like a notification to be sent to you, if a price is not divisible by 5, check this box. When done, click the Save Settings button at the lower left corner of the screen to complete setup of your company notification parameters. Proceed to Personal Notification Setups to specify the recipients of your notifications. Now we will set up personal notifications. You can set up as many personal notifications as you wish and define a limited set of machines and or a limited set of problems about which each specified recipient will be notified. When a problem triggers a notification, the system notifies all recipients set up here to receive notifications about the machine or customer where the problem occurred. Click the Personal Settings button 
at the top of the notification settings screen to set up the individual recipients, this will bring up a new window. The Notify Me At field will list any individual recipients who have already been set up for personal notifications by email address or cell phone number. There are none listed here yet because we have not set them up. Note that names are not entered for these personal settings, only destinations, email addresses, or cell phone numbers. Select email address to send specified notifications to an individual person via email. Click here and type in the person's email address. Select cell phone to send specified notifications to an individual person via text message. Click here and type in the person's cell phone number. Also, you must specify the cell phone's carrier by selecting from the drop-down list to the right. In this case, we're going to use the email address. Select the email address and click the Add button. You will see the screen change to show the new user populated in the Notify Me At area. You will also see up at the top that they have been successfully added and a confirmation email has been sent to the email address specified. The user should look at this email and confirm the email by clicking on the link. Note you can remove the user or resend an activation email if needed. Then click Save Settings button to save the addition. Each recipient can be set up to receive notifications in certain defined circumstances. In other words, an individual may be sent notifications only for a particular set of machines or only for certain kinds of problems. To define the circumstances under which notifications are to be sent to this recipient, you will select from the drop-down lists and option checkboxes in the Notify Me For area. By selecting Route, this recipient will receive alerts issuing from any machine on a single specified route. The desired route is entered by selection at the second drop-down box, in this case, Greenlight Data Demo. By selecting Machine, this recipient will receive alerts issuing from a single specified machine. The desired machine is entered by selection at the second drop-down box. In this case, we have our asset ID for the machine labeled as 1001ABC. By selecting Location, this recipient will receive alerts issuing from any machine at a single specified location. The desired location is entered by selection at the second drop-down box. In this case, second floor lunchroom. And finally, you can select Customer from the drop down. This recipient will receive alerts issuing from any machine at a single customer's location. The desired customer is entered by selection at the second drop down box, in this case, ABC Company. Select any one or more of the door, power, decks, temperature, and price options for the notification currently being set up, that is, for the currently specified recipient and for the set of machines defined above. Checking the door checkbox will send notification if the door is opened during the hour specified under company settings. Checking the power checkbox will send notification if the machine loses power for the number of minutes specified under company settings. Checking the DEX box will send notification if a machine's DEX data includes an alert. Checking the temperature checkbox will send notification when the machine's internal temperature falls outside of the range specified under company settings. And checking the price checkbox will send notification if the machine's price settings fall outside the range specified under company settings. As before, click the Save button to save your progress to this point, in case you need to back out. When desired, it is possible to exclude notifications for some of the machines in the current specified set. 
For example, if route is specified above, to send the current recipient notifications for all machines on a specified route, you can use this option to exclude notifications for a specific machine location or customer while still issuing notifications for the rest of the route. Just as above, select the route, machine, location, or customer from the drop-down and the option checkboxes. Then click Save to save your progress. The Personal Settings window will remain open with all fields cleared for another entry if desired. You can set up personal notifications for as many different recipients as you wish, and if desired, you can define more than one set of parameters for notification of any single recipient. Just click Save for each newly entered set of parameters before starting the next.